All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I haven't been on this channel in a while, um, but I have you guys back on schedule, so be sure to click that notification bell. Um, if you'd like to view my other channels, they are down below. TOL, Tarot of Light, um, has all 12 signs, and then Cancer, Virgo, Pisces, and Aries have their own channels. If you'd like to check those out, um, the links are below, along with TikTok, okay? Um, so guys, we're going to start with some channeled messages, and then we are going to do a couple oracle cards and then get into the reading, okay? So Leo, I feel like there is a situation here um, that you had a lot of love for, okay? You had a lot of love for the situation, but you weren't getting anything back. You weren't getting anything back. Um, so you're deciding to move on from it because you don't see a future there. You, you're just coming to the realization that it's time to just, you know, close the door on the situation. Um, your intuition is just telling you that regardless of whatever this person says or whatever their apology is or whatever they're coming in to tell you that it's just never going to work between you guys. Good Lord. Look at this deck. You guys are like all over the place. Um, you're just starting to realize that it's just never going to work. It's just never going to, whatever you build in this connection, it's just going to fall because it's just not, you know, it's unstable. You know, it's unstable. And, and, you know, you know where you stand, you know, the love that you have to give, but you're just not feeling it back. Okay. All right. So guys, let's go ahead and pull some Oracle for you. Okay. For Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, please spirit. All right. Yep. Truth be told, truth be told. Third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Don't stop. And hidden motivations. So I feel here, Leo, the thing is, is that you're gaining wisdom here. You're seeing the truth for what it is, Leo. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're no longer wanting to keep those rose-colored glasses on. You feel it in your gut here, Leo. And I feel like you're you're holding on to the truth on the inside, not wanting to acknowledge it. And it just can't. Um, you can't hide it anymore, okay? With a win-win outcome as in the forecast, Leo, I feel like you're moving on to something, anything is better than where you're at right now because you're not getting anything out of this situation. And I think you feel that ultimately, no matter what this person says, that you're not really hurting them because if they loved you, then you would simply feel loved. None of this would be happening. Do you see what I'm saying? So you don't really feel like you're hurting anybody. And you're not going to stop here, Leo, because you realize here that this person, um, they have hidden motivations. They're telling you they love you. They're telling you they're sorry. But in their true intentions on the inside are not good. They're not good. Either this person's using you, that they're with you for a reason, not because of love, okay? Not because of love. So let's see what we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please, Spirit. My hair is getting caught. Tell me about Leo, please, Spirit. Tell me about Leo, please. Okay. I'm <laughs> pulling my hair up. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, okay. So let's see here. Yeah. We've got the Four of Swords, Leo. The Four of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Leo, this is literally you cutting out something that you love. And I feel like you need to heal from this, Leo. But with the Four of Pentacles here, you have to think about yourself. You're holding back from the situation. You're no longer willing to give this time, money, attention. Um, you're, you're, you're pulling away from this. And I feel like it hurts you, Leo. 
I feel like it hurts you because you have love for this person. You wish that it could have worked out. But, you know, at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. You know, you have to do what's best for you. Tell me about the Four of Swords for Leo, please. Tell me about the Four of Swords for Leo. Five of Wands in the reverse. You're tired of fighting to be happy, Leo. You're tired of feeling unsafe, insecure, unloved. You're tired of feeling like you're just an option. You're, you're tired of fighting to be happy. Five of Pentacles here for Leo. And the Moon card. Your intuition is telling you to leave this behind. And not only that, but with the Moon card and the Five of Pentacles, I feel like there's a lot of things that you didn't want to see because you realize that if you acknowledge those things, then it would be over. You see what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you love this person. At the end of the day, you want it forever with the person. At the end of the day, as much as it hurts, if you would have acknowledged these things, you know that you would have been better off alone and that you're investing in something that is not worth the investment, okay? And I feel that, you know, with that Nine of Swords energy, it hurts. You know, that's just the bottom line. It hurts. The truth hurts sometimes. Tell me about the King of Cups for Leo. Six of Wands in the reverse. Leo, I feel like this person has affected your self-confidence, your self-esteem. They tear down your ego. Um, when this person talks to you, when they want their way, when they want something from you, I feel like this person actually puts you down and gets nasty with you if you say no. Tell me about the Queen of Swords for Leo. Yeah. I feel like, Leo, even though you love this person, you're loyal to this person, you're committed to this person, you're coming to realize that you have to cut them out of your life, you know? Sometimes love just isn't enough, Leo. You know, sometimes, you know, you have to recognize that even if you love somebody, if you're not being treated correctly, the situation is what it is, you know? Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Under the deck, the Strength card, Leo Energy, and the Six of Pentacles. Leo, this person doesn't want you to go. So they're going to try to restrain you. They're going to try to hold you back from leaving, okay? Um, so what this person does with the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles is they apologize. They offer commitment. They offer something tangible. You know, they offer to work on the connection with the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. They offer to overcome. But the problem is with the Seven of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, this person is actually blocking your blessings. They're blocking you from moving on, moving forward towards what's meant to be for you. Do you see what I'm saying? So I don't feel like you're destined to be with this person, Leo, but they want to stop you from moving forward and being happy tell me about this person knows you deserve better tell me about the ace of pentacles here for leo and the nine of cups in the reverse this person makes big promises that they don't intend to keep okay they know you're unhappy they know what you want to hear so they're just going to tell you whatever you want to hear eight of pentacles for leo and the five of swords it's nothing but head games it's nothing but head games. It's because they see you walking away and Leo, they want you to look back. They don't want you to look forward at the future. They want you to look back at them. Tell me about the seven of wands for Leo. Yeah, queen of swords. They know that if you cut them off, that you'll move on to something better. And they don't want that. They don't want that wheel of fortune in the reverse. Yep, the strength card. See, they want to stop you from receiving your blessings. They want to stop you from leaving them behind. They want to stop you, okay? Because without you, Leo, they have nothing. They have nothing. And they're not about to sit around, watch you move on, watch you manifest and go be happy. Because... I don't know what you bring to the table here, Leo, but without you, they know that you'll go off and be happy and successful and they will not. And they're not trying to sit around and see that. Tell me about the challenge here for Leo. The challenge for Leo. Challenge for Leo. Okay. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, and the Two of Wands. 
Leo, the problem is, is that up until now, you keep on making the decision to give someone a chance that has never fallen in love with you. You understand? Um, you keep waiting for a different outcome, and that is not happening. With the Hermit here, Virgo energy, and the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy, when you're sitting alone by yourself, your intuition tells you, if you were to listen to your higher self, this person is non-committal. This person is lying. This person is sabotaging, playing mind games. This person is out to hurt you, and you need to end this, Leo, okay? You need to end this because you're putting a lot of love, time, attention, and money into something that you have no business being in, okay? Tell me about the outcome here for Leo. The outcome for Leo. So we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse, the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Devil, Capricorn energy. Leo, it's time to realize here that you need to stand your ground, that you need to stand on your own two feet. It's time to see things clearly and for what they are. And the truth of the matter is, is that this is toxic. You're unhappy, you're lonely, you're not receiving the love that you need here, and you're tired of keeping that a secret, okay? You're tired of keeping that a secret. With the Three of Wands here, you can get what you want. You just have to make a final decision here the choice is yours leo okay um you know the only person that controls your future is you so if you allow this person to keep holding you back from what's meant for you and blocking your blessings that's what's going to happen okay don't allow this person to control your future you know all right guys i love you so much and take care bye